Hola, como estas? How are you? My name is George and what I'd like to do is show you in this video the basic screen when you're going to initiate mechanical ventilation on a patient using a Covidian PB980 ventilator. So to zoom in on the screen, we'll just move the camera a little bit and I want to show you how to kind of accomplish all that stuff. All right. So what it's going to show you on the ventilator, first of all, when you come to this tab, it's going to say new patient, same patient, or SST. Now we've already performed the SST, so what we're going to do is we're going to select new patient. Now when you select new patient, it's going to allow you to either put program in the ideal body weight of the patient or select the gender. And when you choose one or the other, it's going to come up with some default settings automatically when it takes you to the, to the next screen, okay? So I'm going to choose the ideal body weight. And I'm going to adjust that to 60. Now to adjust that to 60 mils, I have to use this rotary knob right over here. So I'm going to turn that until on that display I see 60. So as soon as I do that, the ventilator then comes up with some values based on the default settings that it is in at the moment. So if we look a little bit closely on the ventilator and what those default settings are, zoom in a bit more. It allows us to choose the ventilation type. And in terms of ventilation type, the two that allows us to choose from is invasive and non-invasive. The next thing is the style of mode that we want to ventilate with. So the choices are assist controller AC, SIMV, which is synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation, spontaneous ventilation, or bi-level. Next one underneath that, it says mandatory type. So that's the breath type you want your patient to get. You want them to receive a pressure control breath, a volume control breath, or a VC plus styled breath. And VC plus means it's going to be a volume styled breath the patient gets, but the ventilator is going to pressure ventilate in order to get that tidal volume delivery you want your patient to get. So it's very similar to PRVG styled modes uh, on the other types of ventilators, right? So VC plus, VC, and PC, right? The default was volume control. The next thing it has underneath, and it's kind of subdued in its writing, it says spontaneous type. Now the spontaneous type means what type of breath or mode do you want the patient to get if they're in spontaneous mode of ventilation. So because we're not in spontaneous ventilation right now, it doesn't allow us to choose from a spontaneous type. However, that would light up if we chose a spontaneous styled mode, okay? So we'll go back to assist control, volume control mandatory type. Now the next choice that you have is the trigger. So in terms of the trigger, you can choose from the flow trigger or your pressure trigger. We'll leave it with flow triggering. Now the other settings that it has on this level right over here, it starts off with respiratory rate, tidal volume. The tidal volume it comes up with is based on the ideal body weight that you've programmed into your ventilator. Flow rate, again, it automatically chooses that for your defaults. Sensitivity setting, FiO2, and high pressure alarm. On this level right over here, we've got inspiratory plateau or time for plateau. We've got the style of waveform that we want because there is no ramp or rise time or T-rise on this ventilator, but they do allow you to choose the type of waveform for your flow waveform as well as a peep setting. And this little bar down here is just a total cycle time indicator as well as an I time and E time indicator, plus it gives you your IE ratio. On the side of the ventilator right over here, we have all some other things. We've got our apnea setting. So if we want to, to program in a time for apnea, if we were in a spontaneous mode, we could choose our backup parameters for that. We have our alarm window, and it's always important to make sure that you have your alarm set appropriately, especially the high pressure alarm before you initiate mechanical ventilation on your patient and have that set appropriately. And then once your ventilator starts to ventilate, make sure you go back and readjust all your ventilator alarms accordingly. And then another setting, it's the more settings tab right down there that allows you to do a few more things with say for humidification, uh, volume, uh, if you want to change the type of circuit that you've got on your ventilator, you can, or you've changed the circuit that you've on your ventilator, it, it, it allows you to have, have more settings like uh, an HME to choose from, non-heated expiratory tube, or heated expiratory tube. That'll sound very, very similar because of uh, the pre-use check that we went through. So go back to our ventilator. <coughs> so at this point in time, what you'd want to do is you'd want to look at all your settings right over here and then start programming, that, programming them specific to your patient. So after you've assessed your patient, you'd want to determine what type of respiratory rate you want them to have. 
and adjust that accordingly. What type of tidal volume you want them to have, adjust that accordingly. What type of waveform you want your patient to get, flow rate, what type of triggering you want them to get, FiO2 delivery, always have your high pressure alarm set, as well as what type of peak level you have. When you program that, you've got your high pressure alarm set, and if you want to set your other alarms, you can do that at that point in time. You can hit the start button, the ventilator will start ventilating your patient once they're attached to the, the circuit. And that, in essence, is the, uh, not the initiation, but some of the features that they have on that ventilator startup menu when you are using a PB980 ventilator. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any concerns, let me know. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it. I do have uh, a YouTube channel, so if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. And I'll also have another few videos on ventilators in terms of how to actually initiate ventilation on the patient, how to set the alarms up appropriately on the ventilator, and also clarifying and quantifying between what pressure ventilation is as well as pressure, pressure ventilation as well as what volume ventilation is. So if you have any questions, concerns, again, let me know. Take care. Hope you're having a great day. Adios. Take care.